If you want to be a traditionalist, you've got to be innovative. You've got to carry that tradition forward. I'm Marvin Oliver, I'm Coast Salish, a sled up level, and I'm a, considered a contemporary native artist working in many mixed materials, glass, steel, bronze, uh, wood. I'm not a glass artist, I'm an architect. I, I, I let my team create these images because I, I can't do it, they're too big, or they're too, you know, it takes a whole team. So I, I orchestrate and I blueprint everything out, A to Z. I looked at my background as Coast Salish, which has been influenced not only by my area, but I found the Clemmie River Basin very attractive because there's a lot of petroglyphs that they, we have photographs of, but are now covered by the dams. So I'm reincarnating those through glass. And so I don't deviate my designs. I don't make them up. This is what was done centuries ago, but I'm using new material to do it. And that's where the glass is. You know, I'm springboarding from my culture. And that's critical for me, because I don't want to do glass for glass sake. It doesn't impress me. Is that why I do it? Innovation is just, it's nothing really, there's no secret to that. It's just looking at new ways of approaching your art. Therefore, it becomes innovative. So I'm not replicating or just reproducing the same piece or whatever. You've got to take it another level. You know what? I'm going to try something a little different, because I've done it. And that's what creates what we call innovation, what Bill Reed did, Eden Shaw's, you know, when they started doing some weird stuff with silver bracelets that you wouldn't think was imaginable. That's carrying on tradition through innovation. With the spirit boards, that wasn't art at all. They would carve these boards and they would put on their spirit, they'd have a vision, and I says, I wanna do it in glass, and I don't wanna do it in wood or, carve it, you know, I want to really pursue it in a different way. I want it to transmit light through it. Give it the light and the aura that you don't get from something that's carved and solid. So that was the idea of bringing light and making it alive, active. And many of my sculptures do that. The spirituality in native works is always, that's really inbred in all our works is always a very passionate spiritual connection between our work. That's what native art is all about.